you guys. All right, we'll talk about the barrier a bit. Um, these won't be the axles that you guys have. I was just experimenting with some, uh, the rotary conveyor. Um, so yeah, the instructions are pretty, um, not detailed, but uh, they should be good enough to, to get you guys going with, with uh, installing all this. Um, so you want to print these guys in TPU because you need this to, to be flexible or, or whatever flexible material that you have. Um, these are the inside flaps. And then this this is uh, just the, the standard hopper that, or the, the, the piece that you would mount any hopper to or you could use this to uh, as a, you're going to use like a power feed or, or uh, anything else. So, um, anyways, I, I have this one that I've been using because I have the, the conveyor or the Trommel driving right there. So, and then obviously it has the trailer hitch. Um, it's going to allow you to, uh, to tow it around if you need to. All you'd have to do is unscrew these and um, bring it back to this hole here. Um, you'll notice that there's many different holes um, that you can choose from. Where it sits now is, is 25 to, to 25 to 28 degrees um, is where it will we'll sit with you guys. So what uh, uh, some people might say, why well, can't it go any higher or anything like that? Um, a lot of the materials that, that we're going to be moving, which is going to be gravel, sand, dirt, things like that, it, it won't be able to move at that incline anyways. It'll just, or not move, but uh, go up the, the incline. It'll just slide down. So 25 is gonna be, uh, uh, 28 is gonna be around the max for, for most of the materials, or if not all, that we're gonna be moving. Unless we're gonna be moving a, a asbestos or anything like that. Um, those are in the 30s, or that is in the 30s. So as this should be sufficient, uh, this is going to be, what I have on here is uh, the bike tube, inner tube bicycle kind of tube, as you can see here. What I'm going to uh, be messing around with um, when I build uh, four others, um, I'm gonna most likely be using something like this, which I put in the material list, but this is a 116, uh, or excuse me, 130 second um, rubber uh, material. So you can get strips of this online or you could uh, buy a sheet like I did. I have a local hardware store that, that has all the, uh, has the rolls of this, so I figured why not. I, I just wanted to test, so I got a foot of it. So, um, the, again, the instructions, they're, they're in order, so just try and follow the order. When I did the belt, what I did is I put everything together, and then I, I cut my inner tube, um, and then wrapped it around, and then gave myself, you can see right here, doesn't look too pretty because I tried to use uh, glue at first and, and it didn't work, but um, this rubber cement right here is, uh, you don't have to use this brand, but the rubber cement works really well. You just have to wait 24 hours. And I'll show here in a bit on how I set that up and prepped it. Um, but this has worked out really well. Um, it, has, it has quite a good, good amount of grip. The one side that they, they had on the the mold form has like a mold release. I think it's towel powder. Um, you want to clean that out, but even when you do, it's still pretty slippery. So you'll notice as well these little guys. I only have four of them. On the one that the, in the file that I have, as far as ready to print files, there's eight of these. Um, you don't need eight, but uh, I thought they'd be pretty cool. These are basically what they call self-aligning rollers, and allows the the belt to not move, you know, shift uh, both ways. So, and then the roller, the drive roller, so you can flip this around. The drive roller is going to be, this has rubber, oh, you can see the seam right here. This has the same material as the belt wrapped around the roller. Um, and glued as well, but what I did is I, I uh, you see, I'll use an example. This is just a TPU sleeve, but what I did is, imagine this is the roller. Um, I used a bunch, or not a bunch, but this cement on here, and then got it all nice and good on here, and then let this sit for about five minutes. And you'll notice that it'll go from shiny to dull to, uh, to uh, and that'll let you know that it's ready for, for uh, ready to, to be put together. So 
that's how I did that and then um, again leave that for for at least 24 hours not at least I mean that's what it says on the bottle 24 hours um, and then let's talk about extension real quick so let's see if I can get this to stay sorry my, my, my area is a complete mess Okay, so with the extension, what, you're, what you'll do is you'll end up printing left and right uh, rail to number two, um, and that is going to allow you to extend it at this point. So you would uh, essentially just remove this and not remove it, but um, just take these screws out and then extend it by uh, doing that, uh, putting as many as you want. Now you'll notice that the, the, the more that you extend it, the, the, the further that this is going to go back, the higher that this point is going to go, meaning you're not going to have as much leverage. So your option is to, instead of printing this upper piece here, hopefully you can see, but instead of printing this upper piece, the smaller uh, support leg, you'll go ahead and print two of these support legs. Um, and then you'll have to drill. No, you, yeah, you may have to drill out one of them, uh, one of the pieces that you do to three mil. And essentially you'll have two of these, um, it'll look like this, it'll go up here, and then you'll be able to, um, to, to get it up there. Actually, I'm going to update the files, because um, this is actually 5 mil on the bottom, so I'm going to update the files to, to where there's a 3 mil, um, so you could use a, a bolt through here. So I'll, I'll update it, that is, as soon as I'm done with this. So that's what you would do to extend it, and then theoretically you can extend it as long as you'd like. You just have to get more material as far as, you know, for, for each time you extend it one one rail, you're going to need three roller um, uh, three roller prints and then the materials to for each roller. So um, you, you, the math is relatively easy if you, if you look at the material list. So, um, and then also you're going to need to make your belt longer. So, <coughs> excuse me, let's talk about the belt real quick. Oh, well, excuse me, the, the wheels, you can print the wheels and tires. The, the wheels aren't scale at all. They're, they're pretty round. They kind of look like airplane wheels. Um, you, you, I don't think anybody's gonna care what they look like because I don't think you're gonna be moving them around too much, but um, I just use these off of a regular Tamiya. They use uh, the same bearings and uh, the, uh, the, the same dimensions, so it, it'll work out just fine. So as far as the belt material, like I said, rubber cement. What I did is work, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use this as a test. You also notice that the belt is uh, is round because that's how the tire is. When you cut, when you cut the material, try not to cut the side wall, even though you're going to have to, which is fine because when you get if you do it kind of like how I did it here you're gonna get a nice nice little V going, or a nice form of a, a V here with a little flat spot. So you'll kind of notice that with this one, it's gonna sit kind of like this. So it actually works out. And then the round part, because of the, the tension in the line, um, you'll see that there's a tensioner, not a tensioner, but like a little tension area here that you would end up using. Um, and then you would uh, be able to um, this would straighten out. So anyways, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab, this is 150 grit sandpaper. Um, I'd probably use something a little bit grittier, like 100, maybe even 80. And you're just gonna go ahead and prep your end. Uh, go as far as you want. Um, but anyways, just kinda, just kinda get it. Just, no, 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 And then you'll start to see like the, the dust. So go ahead and, and you know that this is, it's getting kinda rough. So we'll go ahead and do this other side. We're gonna do the face on this one. Also, you want to wash these before before you glue them. You can rough it up if you want before you glue it, or excuse me, before you wash it. So now what you would do is you would go and wash this. I already washed it, so we're just gonna kind of wipe it off. I should probably wash it again, but it doesn't need per to be perfect. And you can see I I pulled this one apart to show you guys again. So, I'm not going to do it inside, I'll move it outside to do it because this stuff stinks. Um, so what you would do is you're going to go ahead and, well, I'll go ahead and move everything outside. Just do the 
this on the trash cans here. No way you're gonna not get anything anywhere. So again, we've sanded all this down. So we'll go ahead and we'll shake this. I don't know how to do that. generous it doesn't really matter um, it's all gotta come off uh, or it's all gonna vape anywhere uh, uh, it's gonna vape off anyway it's not vape but um, the, uh, the acetone or whatever was used the solvent will need to, to come off for it to activate. So. Again, it doesn't matter if you're generous. I, I would much rather see a lot more than, than not enough. You'll, if you don't put enough on there, you'll really know what it, what it is. Smush it too much because you'll, you'll stretch it. Just make sure your sides look pretty good. Make sure your lines right here look decent. And then just go ahead and hold it. And what you can do too is you could use a can, like an old spray can. Kind of use, use it to help you form it. You don't want to like bend it at those seams again. So, <coughs> excuse me. So you're gonna go ahead and just kind of leave it like this. Now, uh, again, you want to leave it like this for. It says 24 hours. I didn't do that with my first one, and you can see what had happened is it started to fray up on each side. So um, you'll notice that uh, again, it has a slight uh, curve on the inside on this one, or I guess you can look at it the outside, but on this this portion. So. But again, what will happen is, hopefully I don't, I don't bend this, but what will happen is you can, it'll straighten out uh, when you get it on the rollers. Um, and uh, you don't really pay attention to that. It does, it does its job and I think it does it quite well. So I did this one in backwards. So what we'll, we'll end up doing is just going this way. And you can see it actually, I did a, a pretty good job at holding, so. I'm not going to pull it too hard because I want to keep this, but so um, just to, to recap, you're going to sand this um, both sides that you're going to meet and then you're going to go ahead and put the glue, the rubber cement on, leave it on there for five minutes before uh, a minimum, depending on if it's really cold where you're at, you're going to leave it on there for a little longer. Um, it's a good thing it's, it's kind of warm here. Um, so you'll leave it on there for about five minutes, wait until it kind of gets tacky and then you'll go ahead and meet the surfaces and then um, like I said, put it on something like this or um, you can just squish it down like uh, like this as well. You can just have like this sit on it um, or maybe like a book or something, whatever. Just uh, have it squished there and then just let it sit there for, for 24 hours and then uh, it should be good to go. There you go. 
Okay, so just to go ahead and, and sum up the video, um, I also forgot to add in the parts list. I'll update this. Uh, you're going to want to get a 5 millimeter um, tube of stainless steel or aluminum brass, it doesn't really matter. Um, and, and as long as it has a uh, three, 3 millimeter um, inside, so it would have to be a 1 millimeter wall. Um, in theory, it'd be a little bit better if you found one that had an 8 millimeter wall. I'll, I'll add that to the, to the list, but you would have this go through. Um, and this is what would be your chain tensioner here right here um, and that would allow you to to lock it in so what you would do is have this obviously the through, through bolt go through and then your lock nuts on both sides and that would allow you to to lock the roller but still allow it to spin inside the uh, um, the housing here so you don't want it to be too tight because you don't want it to push up against the roller here um, right here but you can see mine is, is pretty close if I move the belt See mine is pretty close, but it can still roll quite nicely. So, but yeah, I'll go ahead and update the parts list here in a bit. But um, if you guys have any questions or anything, go ahead and uh, post on Facebook or, or comment on anything, and, and um, I will do my best to, to help you guys and, and uh, figure it out. Um, other than that, the uh, the instructions should should be uh, worthy enough to, to get you guys going. So uh, enjoy.